Good morning, everyone. My name is Dalton Brown, and I'm going to be introducing, I'm going to be doing the introduction, and we're the team toppers. This is Wesley Harris. He will be conducting the primary research. Miles Wright will be doing the secondary research, and Stephen Robertson will be covering the findings and conclusions, while Nathan Turner will be covering the recommendations. So, we conducted a survey project for Taco and Madre whose owner, Mr. Albert Vasquez, noticed they had a lack of social media presence. He noticed this when websites like Yelp and Facebook, uh, their company wasn't getting much likes, uh, not a lot of reviews, and customers were arriving after closing hours, and customers uh, were arriving at the wrong location, this being because they're a food truck and they move around from time to time. Therefore, we distributed paper surveys across campus here at St. Edwards University and use the results to create recommendations to increase the social media presence to benefit the company. And now I'm going to be passing on to Wesley Harris, who he will be covering the primary research. So like Dalton said, my name is Wesley, and I'm going to cover the primary research. So for our survey design, we distributed 300 paper surveys to our individual classrooms that we attended. And 279 of these surveys we got and re got returned back to us. And one of these was deemed invalid based on our rule of what we figured, the instructions that we laid out to the people that they did not follow these instructions on the surveys. For our demographic, we just surveyed the student body here at Sanders, so we didn't really feel the need to have a specific demographic of people to finish and complete our research for our project. So just a general overview of the questions that we asked of our surveyors. Uh, you know, there's social media use by the people, the awareness of Taco Madre, and ways to benefit Taco Madre in the future. And from this graph, you can see that of the social media sites that are used, the most used site is Instagram with 81. Six, 56 of these people, the second most, is Facebook. Twitter is third with 51. And last is Snapchat. From this graph, the awareness of talking about on social media only 80% of the people that we surveyed were aware of Taco Madre on social media. And now that I've concluded our primary research, I'm going to pass it on to Miles, where he'll conduct our secondary research. All right. So like Wes said, my name is Miles Wright. I have the secondary research for our project. So for our secondary research, we assessed two main things. Um, one of them was social media services, and then I'll cover the other um, on the next slide. But to explain social media services, we were assessing types of social media services that people use to market themselves and get their company name out there. And so we found that Facebook and Twitter right now in the world are the top two social media services that are present. Facebook is leading the way. Um, Facebook has bought Instagram, and so they were lumped together, and so I just put Facebook as the top. Twitter is right, right behind them, and these are two huge, huge companies that have influences on companies, people, and marketing around the world. Research themes that we had, successful social networking services. So we researched um, how people can successfully use these social networking services to get their name out there, like I said. And so we found that the, some successful tips that were given to us would be for posting tips. So say like not posting more than twice in a day on Facebook or not posting more than say 10 times a day on Twitter because after that, then it just starts to get redundant and people start to get annoyed. Um, effective methods to follow. So this is just tips of how to structure your site, tips of how to manage it and make sure that it looks presentable to people um, whenever they get onto your social networking site, and then predicting user attitudes. So this would be predicting how people are going to respond to your social networking site. So if your social networking site is very 
dark and not lively, no one's going to respond, you know, in a positive manner to that. But if it's one that's upbeat, it's current, then they're going to respond better and be more acceptable of the information that you're trying to present to them. Now, I'm going to present, I'm going to hand it off to Stephen Robinson who has findings and conclusions. Thank you. Like Miles said, I'm Stephen Robertson, and I will uh, be letting you guys know not just about the primary research findings, but also the secondary research findings. After concluding our primary research, we concluded that people that know about Taco and Madre are aware of the business because of word of mouth, rather than their social media, showing potential growth within the realm of social media. Also, the need for increased social media awareness can be seen with not only the significant amount of people that are not following Taco Madre on social media, but the lack of awareness that their social media accounts even exist. Promotions are the most effective way to help advance Taco Madre's social media efforts, as the vast majority of survey participants found this would be the most beneficial way. Lastly, Instagram is significantly the most used social media account among survey participants showing the increasing importance of businesses having an Instagram account. Now for the secondary research. Firstly, as a Facebook user, it is critical to create website traffic by providing an excellent visual of the page while building a quality audience through the use of effective advertising. Secondly, a company should interact with, with people on Instagram while their posts should contain real content using written text on photos only at appropriate times, such as advertising new products. Lastly, an effective Twitter page should address any potential concerns that a targeted audience may have while providing them with valuable information, consistent tweeting, and by remaining connected with their current followers. Now I will hand it to Nathan Turner to do the uh, recommendations. As Stevie said, I'm Nathan, and I'll be covering a few recommendations that we came up with for Talk on Madre. Uh, the first recommendation we have for Taco Madre is for them to provide an updated link to their, uh, their company website so that followers can access things such as the menu, food prices, or changes in location when they decide to move their truck. Uh, a second recommendation we have is for Taco Madre to engage in promotions on all of their social media accounts. For example, Taco Madre could post uh, something on Twitter such as you know, the first 10 people to retweet this, uh, retweet this tweet and bring proof to the food truck that they retweeted it will receive two free breakfast tacos. This, this is an example of a promotion. Uh, third recommendation that we have is for Taco and Madre to post and tweet consistently on Facebook and Twitter on a daily basis. Usually for a company, a tweet every half hour or up to uh, 10 tweets a day is recommended. Um, because Twitter moves at such a rapid rate, uh, this number is appropriate. For Facebook, one or two posts a day is ideal for a business, but when they post too little throughout the week, um, it's very possible that they can start losing connection with their followers. But by posting too much, such as more than twice a day, uh, allows them to become annoying towards their followers and their audience. Um, an appropriate post on Facebook or tweet on Twitter would include things such as uh, location updates, recognition of their customers, or even encouraging their customers to come try a new dish or a new special that they have that day. And the last recommendation we have is for Talk on Roger to use Instagram as an advertising tool. We feel that they should use um, advertising through Instagram because Instagram is an effective tool for driving follower acquisition and engagement. Um, that I just covered a few recommendations we came up with, and now I'm going to pass it on to Dalton, who will conclude our presentation. Thank you, Nate. And uh, just to quickly recap everything we've covered, uh, my name is Dalton Brown. I covered the introduction. Wesley Harris covered the primary research. Miles Wright covered the secondary research. Stephen Robertson covered the findings and conclusions and Nathan Turner covered the recommendations. And uh, here's just a quick recap of all the recommendations. And our key recommendation would be for Taco and Madre to proactively engage the community and keep their customers up to date on all social media accounts by posting photos, promotions, and daily company news. Does anyone have any questions?